uh hello everybody um in this tutorial you're going to be learning about um making mutexes and mutexes are useful to make um your program run synchronously rather than asynchronously because if you learn in my last tutorial threads run asyn as asynchronously which means that when the threads are ready to launch they will just launch whenever they want to so it won't go in an orderly fashion and sometimes this is good like when you're loading a game but sometimes it's not good maybe you want to load in a different way or you want to do something different so I want to teach you of a way to put it in an orderly fashion with the uses of mutexes and this is what you do so if you, um this is the same code from last tutorial um I think I, I'm not sure if these names inside the CL statement are the same but they should be well, it's the same general program so what we're gonna do above when we declare a thread we're gonna put oh let me zoom in for you sorry zoom in okay so we're gonna put mutex and we're gonna name this mutex and um in the SFML tutorials they they create a global mutex because they use a virtual void um function of the for the thread class and I'm going to be teaching more about the using the functions and classes in later tutorials but for now we don't need that so we're going to put sf colon colon mutex and we're naming our mutex mutex and below our thread dot launch we're going to put mutex dot lock and then below our at, at the end of our for loop we're going to put mutex dot unlock and what this is doing is that it's saying when in between our lock and unlock statements it's saying do not run any threads within um, when wh when this is running so whatever's inside here will run and then when this unlocks then your thread will run right so in this case it will put main function 10 times then it will unlock it and then it will say thread function 10 more times right so if you don't believe me uh, then let me show you an example yeah okay so as you can see the results uh, main function does 10 times and it does thread function 10 times so this is a good way to do it but this is not a safe way to do it because um say you haven't you throw an exception in here that will I don't know exit it or whatever and the mutex won't be able to unlock and there's some situations where it won't be able to unlock so then we need to create something to make it that even if you throw an exception or something will happen that it can't unlock that it will automatically unlock itself because if it can't unlock itself then the program won't the rest of the program won't run so what we're gonna put is SF I'm um, colon colon lock and we're gonna name it lock and we're gonna put uh, brackets and we're gonna put mutex and I'm gonna end it with a uh, semicolon um, yeah so maybe we should put this right here and we can delete the unlock statement so when we run this so as you can see uh it does the exact same thing and it will still display them the 10 functions and then the th 10 thread functions after so for a safer way just use this lock method and everything should be fine and i hope you found this tutorial useful and now in the next tutorial we're going to be learning about graphics and windows and stuff more exciting stuff so hope you liked this tutorial uh, thanks for watching and bye.